Do you guys want a chance at winning this fully restored GMC Duramax diesel? Head on over to truckmasterdiesel.com. You can pick up one of these shirts or any other item that you prefer. And every $1 spent is one entry. Don't miss out, guys. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Jump on that website and enter in now. Have you guys ever gotten your truck so muddy and so trashed and then you had this thought, you know what, if I drove it through the car wash, would it actually clean the mud off? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But before we go further into this video, you guys were wondering what's going on with the Victory Max. We know that we brought it to Ryan's Diesel Service in Wisconsin. I'm in another state right now and we have some updates on it. We're really excited about it. We're talking about custom traction bars that they made in-house powder coated the works. So let's head over to Ryan's Diesel Service right now. Hey guys, Ryan from Ryan's Diesel Service. Today you can see we put some new traction bars on this truck. These traction bars were built 100% completely in-house by us. Um, the brackets, however, we did buy the brackets from another company. Um, these bars though, down to literally these nuts here. Um, Eric actually made those all up, machined everything. Cool thing about these bars, uh, everything is fully adjustable. Uh, so both at the front end and all the way back at the rear end, these times are completely adjustable, uh, makes it really nice for preloading. A lot of companies out there make bars, and I'm not knocking them, but I don't like how you can't adjust and preload on both ends or make adjustability. You would end up having to go drop this bolt out, spin the high mount, tighten it back down, put the bolt back in. Just a lot of a lot of changes. And this makes it a lot easier to preload the bars on here. Um, we think they turned out really slick. These Himes actually, believe it or not, too, are actually all chrome molly Himes. Um, so again, you're not going to have that, you know, cheap tractor Heim rattle or anything like that. So these turned out really good, and I think they'll work really good on this truck. All right, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate all of your help and support with this build right here. So let me know in the comments what you think about these awesome traction bars. We're pretty pumped about them. And we're only days away from ending this contest. It's going to be December 9th. The best thing about my YouTube channel is that the orders are not as numerous because I'm not a very large YouTuber. So your chances of winning this truck are extremely high. So uh, get your orders in. Let's go ahead and get this thing ended. And then I'll know a week after the ninth. I'm going to be contacting the winner personally once I find out. Let's go ahead and get the wife in the truck right now. Let's bring it to the car wash and see what this will actually do. Stay oh, tuned. It's muddy. I guess you're driving today. What, you're scared of all the power this truck has? I'll be nice and let you drive your truck. Oh, thank you so much, honey. We still need to put a sweet CD player in here. Oh, yes. All our procrastination. As a matter of fact, a subscriber sent me a CD player for this thing. I do appreciate that, man, if you're watching. That's really cool. Yeah, we'll get that installed. me too. I really appreciate that, for real. <laughs> like, this is gonna be really nice when I finally can turn something on, you know? Yeah. Man, I can't wait till it's camping season. It's gonna be awesome. We can finally pull that camper somewhere. You know, my truck is actually worse than yours. What but do you mean? My truck won't fit through that car wash. Oh. I have to clean it here. Are you sure mine fits through it? Yeah, I'm positive. Because I've already brought it through there twice oh, already. You did? Yeah. Did you have to pull the mirrors in? Yes. If you don't, it's gonna catch. Oh, is it still in four? Or did you no, I put it in two. Okay. As you guys can see, clearly the truck is completely covered in mud. Well, not completely. One side it looks pretty clean, but regardless, the truck is really muddy. We're headed to the car wash right now, 
I want you guys to stay tuned because this is going to be interesting. Because we're going to go ahead and just do one pass through that car wash. Well, we might clog the drain. <laughs> we really got to get some new tint. Look at this old school purple. What do you think about that last tug of war? What do you think about it? I think that we need to do it on pavement. Because you're upset that you lost? I don't know. We need a part three. I'm a sore loser, so we need a part three. Um, but this time we're going to do it on pavement. And if and you pull me on pavement, then yeah, I'm the biggest loser. Okay, but it's got to be a nice long driveway. No, or no. a parking lot. We need like a parking lot, but I don't want to do it illegally. So your area or you own a parking lot or a big giant cement pad that I can possibly borrow for a video. That'd be awesome. Borrow. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. I'll give it back to you. It's going to be really rubbery looking, but I'll give it back to you. you might need new tires after that. <laughs> you will. I probably will. Yeah. Maybe you should get a set of what I've got. I don't know. It's just, it's too aggressive. Okay, because, maybe a little bit Especially less. when I'm pulling the camper and stuff, you know? You need a little bit more tread though. The guy that just passes is like, <laughs> truck's like so muddy. Oh, like, I just, how can she see out the window? You know, I just realized that. I bet you were getting some looks driving through here. Yeah, I can Look, probably, that lady just, that lady just did. Actually, here. did you get the mirror? How muddy the mirror is? Oh man, oh man. It's muddy. We're going to the car wash at the gas station? Yeah. And then once we're done there, depending on how well it cleans it, we're going to go to the quarter car wash. Ah. Yeah, buddy. We'll see. And then clog that drain next. To drive around like to the drive thru. Closed. Oh, Temporary really? closed. Come on, man. This is the one I wanted to. Well, too. guess what? My Here. prize is now, Josh. What? You get to spray off my truck for me since I won. Okay. There's another <laughs> one across the street, but it's not as cool. Wait, we fit in that one? Yes, we do. How do you know? Have you been through it? Yeah, I've already been through it with this truck. With this one? Yep. Are you sure? Positive. You're lying to Go me. Go across the street over there. Dang it. It's a touch free car wash. Yeah? Do you like those? Yes, because it won't mess up your paint, but this paint's already destroyed, so I don't really care. You can make it, go ahead. No, I don't want to. This Why? looks so small. You got this. All right, I'll do it. Oh, you went to the center. <laughs> <laughs> no jumps. It's not. It's not cold out in in the truck. Oh man. Yeah, this looks awfully small. All right, you're gonna pull your mirror in though. You you swear you've been through this one? Yes, I've already been through here. Now with the rims. You'll have to. Do <gasps> Josh. Video. And you were gonna make me drive through it, not knowing. You gotta pull that mirror in. All the rattles. Josh, are you sure? Yep. Uh -huh. right, we're gonna go with the best car wash. The eight dollars. Okay. It's called the works. Well, better work, it's magic. Eight, add eight dollars for the works. This undercarriage spray is gonna do nothing. The whole underside of this truck is covered in mud. I am worried about your wide stance right now. Joshua. <laughs> Alright, we are in. We made it. Alright, so it's dark in here, but we'll go ahead and wait. When we pull the truck out, we'll show you guys what it all looks like. Didn't get the back window. <laughs> that didn't do nothing. I wouldn't dare turn my windshield wipers on. <laughs> Just oh. throw the mud everywhere. <laughs> Dang. All right, windshield wiper. Uh oh. That was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be washing. The mud was again. all clumped on that the windshield was, wiper, though. Was that it? No. Oh. No, this is where the soap comes. Oh, it's going to soap it, it in? And it didn't even get anything off the hood. Yeah, there's... So there, it's probably just going to drop soap on the hood. Well, maybe it will make the mud slip off. We'll see. We should have just went to the spray wash. Well, we're still going to go to the spray wash. Well, you want to get most of the mud for you? Yeah, I just want to... <laughs> this is a lot easier that way. But all the mud clumped up on the mirror right here... Oh, here we go. Here's some high pressure. Nope. Dude, 
is gonna, that it? And then it's gonna blow dry the mud. <laughs> <laughs> the mud's gonna fly everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they waxing it? Oh, here's the wax. Oh no! <laughs> this car wash sucks. <laughs> Got a muddy wax. Yeah, that's the spot free rinse. Let's look at the damage. Let's see what it did. Oh, this side looks clean. Uh, Doesn't look bad, actually. It's a little cleaner. We had a guy pull up right next to us after we came out of the car wash. And he was like, did you just go through the car wash? We're like, yeah. He's like, it's, I was just letting you know your tailgate and everything's still muddy. And we're like, yeah, we, we figured, we knew. <laughs> Really nice guy. He said he followed the channel. Yeah, that was cool. That was yeah. really cool. Um, so I wasn't expecting much. We knew that this wasn't going to clean the truck. But if your guys' truck is completely covered in mud and you decide to go through a car wash, it probably isn't going to work out for you. Look at that. Yes. Oh man. Well, dear, looks like we're gonna be uh, spraying your stuff down in the quarter car wash. You're gonna be, cause that's my, uh, that's my. Uh, oh yeah, cause you won or whatever. Gotcha. Yeah, that's yep. my pride. Roger that. Look at that, guys. Yeah, actually. The side looks good, but the back. <laughs> the side back. Well, except for that little. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go. Time, you ready? Time to put Truck Master to work. Whatever. All right, so turn the truck off. All right, so I have one dollar and oh no, I got two bucks. Okay, I'm good. Two dollars. Two dollars will do it. So we already spent eight dollars on that car wash. Let's see if two dollars will clean this up. I doubt it. That's all Don't I use the brush. That's all I have. Whatever though. you do. That's all I have. Oh yeah, Dude, people will kill me in the comments <laughs> playing the brush. Oh, man. I know. I mean, I wouldn't use a brush on my red truck, but. I say we go with high pressure soap is the first one. Oh, one more. Three minutes. High pressure soap, come on. All right, we got three minutes. You're gonna have to drive kind of slow pulling out because I was not able to get all that mud. And regardless, it's gonna it's gonna fling it's everywhere. Ways, it's gonna fling. But it looks good. It looks a lot better than it did. Well, your truck is clean and mine's not. Yeah, because the loser had to clean my truck. Oh, so you think I'm gonna lose next? I know you'll lose next. It looks a lot better than it did. Oh look, mud flew up on my door. Oh yeah. Oh look, missed some mud on the mirror. I missed every spot ever. You just pick it. Just find a spot and I missed it. <laughs> but it looks better. Yeah, a lot better. Now look at your truck. Oh look at my traction bars. Oh yeah, those are actually, if you guys have traction bars, you guys know the struggle. Those are very hard to keep clean, especially when they're powder coated like that. We got some cleaning to do, big time. We'll leave that for another day though. Also, one more thing. Um, I have my eye open for another truck. You already told him that, didn't you? In the last video I did. Yeah. But I'm struggling right now between another Duramax, like a different generation Duramax, or another diesel. So 
We'll find out. I don't know. I haven't picked one yet, but we'll see. You guys let me know what I should pick, though. I need your help. Seriously, just load it up in the comments below. Um, but yeah. You have your ideas, though. I do have my ideas. Hey, if you've had some other experiences on cleaning muddy trucks, let me know in the comments. Any funny stories? I'd love to read them. Um, but I do appreciate everybody watching the channel. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe. And again, the contest closed here in the next few days. So do not miss out on that. And I'm going to say it because you guys won't know unless I tell you. So that's why I always talk about the truck giveaways. But that's it. Thank you so much, dear, for, uh, you know, coming with me with this Well, thanks thing. for spraying off my truck because uh, you were the loser. Oh, gosh, here we go with the loser thing. That was my prize. All right, see you guys later. Stay tuned.